नारायणं नमस्कृत्य नरं चरोतम देवीं सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयमदीर नष्ट भद्रेशु निगवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोक भक्ति Reading from Shrimad Bhagavatam, tenth canto, chapter thirteen, entitled "Brahma Stealing the Boys and Calves." Text thirteen. तान दृष्ट्वा भय संत्रस्त्रान तान दृष्ट्वा भय संत्रस्तान ऊचे कृष्णोस्य भी भयम ऊचे कृष्णोस्य भी भयम मित्रण्यासान मा विरमते मित्रण्याशान मा विरमते हानेश्ये वत्सकान हम हानेश्ये वत्सकान हम तान दृष्ट्वा भय संत्रस्तान ऊचे कृष्णोस्य भी भयम मित्रण्याशान मया विरमते हानेशे वत्सकान हम तान दृष्ट्वा भय संत्रस्तान ऊचे कृष्णोस्य भी भयम मित्रण्याशान मा विरमते हानेशे वत्सकान हम Om Namah Shivaya 
that those calves were going away drishtva seeing bhaya santrastan to the cowherd boys who were disturbed by fear that within the dense forest the calves would be attacked by some ferocious animals <coughs> Uche, Krishna said, Krishna asya bhi bhayam, Krishna, who is himself the fearful element of all kinds of fear, when Krishna is present, there is no fear. Mitrani, my dear friends, Ashat from your enjoyment of eating <coughs> Maviramate do not stop Iha in this place in this spot Aneshe I shall bring back Vatsakan the calves Aham I Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. <coughs> when Krishna saw that his friends, the covered boys, were frightened, he, the fierce controller even of fear itself, said just to mitigate their fear, My dear friends, do not stop eating. I shall bring back your calves back to this spot by personally going after them myself. Purport In the presence of Krishna's friendship, a devotee cannot have any fear. Krishna is the supreme controller, the controller of even death, which is supposed to be the ultimate fear in this world. Bhayam dvitiya bhinive shatasyad This fear arises because of lack of Krishna consciousness. Otherwise there cannot be any fear. For one who has taken shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna, <coughs> this material world of fear becomes hardly dangerous at all. Bhavam budhir vatsa param padam 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 yat vivadam natesham Bhavam budhihi The material ocean of fear becomes very easy to cross by the mercy of the Supreme Controller. This material world in which there is fear and danger at every step, padam padam yat vipadam, is not meant for those who have taken shelter at Krishna's lotus feet. Such persons are delivered from this fearful world. Samashritaye padapallavam plavam mahat padam bunya yashu murare bhavam budhir vatsa param padam param padam 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 yat vipadam natesha. Everyone, therefore, should take shelter of the Supreme Person who is the source of fearlessness and thus be secure. <coughs> Om Ajnanati Mirandhasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurumiri Damyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam ye nabhutale Swayam rupa kadamayam Dadati sopadandikam Vande ham shi guru Shi yuta padakamalam Shi guru hon vaishnamamscha Shi rupam sagrajata Sahagana raghunathan bitam Tam sajivam Sarvainam Zavadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Jaitan Hale Shri Radha Krishna Bada Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakhan Vida 
हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु हीन बंधो जगतपते मुकेश गोपिका कांता आनाकांता नमोस्तुदे तत्कांचन गौरांगी आधे गंगा वनेश्वरी रुषभानु सुते देवी नमामि हरि वांछा कल्पतरु कृपा सिंधु हे भजा अधिदानां गावने भो विष्णवे भो नमो जय श्री कृष्ण जय गंगा प्रभु नित्यानंदा श्री गगनाला वासुदेव भक्तनंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे तान दृष्टवा भय संत्रस्तान ऊचे कृष्णों से भी भयम मित्रान्याशान मा विरमते हानेशे वत्सकान हम तान दृष्टवा भय संत्रस्तान कृष्ण saw his most intimate loving friends in anxiety <clears throat> immediately he wanted to relieve them of that anxiety he doesn't want his associates and his loving devotees <clears throat> to be inconvenienced in any way because he loves them so much in fact Krishna is completely atmaram he is completely self satisfied he doesn't need anything outside of himself for his enjoyment but simultaneously krishna is very much dependent upon his intimate associates for his loving reciprocation and enjoyment this seems a little contradiction contradictory that krishna is atmaram complete in himself purna madah purna midam he is complete and satisfied in himself he doesn't require anyone else's assistance for his enjoyment he is completely blissful but simultaneously there is another aspect of his personality there are two aspects of krishna as purusha <coughs> one is his completeness and his self satisfaction that is called atma ramata and another aspect of krishna's purusha personality as the supreme enjoyer is para ramata para ramata means the enjoyer of his expansions and energies which are all his separated expansions parts and parcels now this is only exclusive to krishna these two seemingly contradictory nature to be perfectly harmonized is only possible in krishna otherwise how can a person be atmaram fully self satisfied and fully dependent on others for his enjoyment this seems contradictory but only in krishna all contradictions are resolved he is the krishna demonstrated this when he had this raslila 
in Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, this is his most intimate associates. He can't live. In fact, to Duruvas Muni, the Supreme Personality of Godhead says, Naham Atmanam Asha Se Mad Bhaktair Sadhu Hirvina Shriyam Chatyan Tikim Brahman Yesham Gati Mahampara My dear Durvas, <coughs> let me tell you a secret, very confidential truth about myself. Na aham atmanam. Atmanam means bliss, atmaram, self-satisfying. My bliss, my joy, na aham atmanam asha se. This joy of mine becomes irrelevant, tasteless. Mad bhaktair sadhu bhir bina. If my devotees are not there, I am not. I don't enjoy this, my bliss. Shriyam cha atyantikim. The ultimate opulence, all the six opulences in the Vaikuntha and the spiritual world becomes null and void without my devotees for whom I am their only destination. So therefore, he is exhibiting, he says, just like a devotee says, Shunya itam jagat sarvam govinda virahename. Similarly, Krishna also feels Shunya itam vaikuntham sarvam mad bhakta virahename. What is the use of Brindavan if Srimati Radharani is not there, if the gopis are not there, if gopas are not there, if Nanda Maharaj, Shodama is not there, if the calves, the cows are not there. If Govardhan is not there, if Yamuna is not there, what is the point in Vrindavan? Vrindavan is wonderful because of this most intimate associates. <coughs> so Krishna comes to demonstrate, demonstrate his nature and invite everyone to come and join him, to attract people's heart to the highest understanding of God. Vrindavan and Krishna is the highest conception. You can't find anywhere else any other understanding which is this understanding. In fact, that is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is considered Namo Mahavadanyaya, Krishna Prema Pradayati. Why is considered the most magnanimous incarnation? Because he has come to give what no other incarnation had ever given. What is that? Love of Krishna. When Krishna came, he only gave Bhagavad Gita, which is understanding of God. He gave a understand. And he demonstrated what it is like. So Krishna came to demonstrate what it is like, to show and to make people understand the nature of God. But Mahaprabhu came to give them love of God. Krishna demanded surrender before giving. prapadyante. But Mahaprabhu, patra apatra na dekhe na dekhe sthana sthana. He didn't consider about the qualification. And he gave what even Krishna did not give. And that is love of Krishna. And what kind of love? Anarpita charinchirat karunaya avatirana kalau samarpaitum unnata ujjula rasa. The highest rasa. Everyone in this world is looking for rasa. And material rasa, in, in, in every thing, in every relation, people are looking for some taste, some mellow, some rasa. Like we want some fruits. Why we want some fruits? It's not the fruit we are attached to the skin or the seed. What we want is the essence. The essence of the fruit is the juice. Right? Amras. 
और नींबू रस रस इज इंपॉर्टेंट आफ्टर वर्ड वी स्पिट आउट द सीड एंड स्पिट आउट द स्किन बट वॉट वी रियली वॉन्ट इज सिमिलरली इन ए रिलेशनशिप वॉट आर वी सीकिंग वी सीक द एसेंस ऑफ अ रिलेशनशिप एंड दैट इज लविंग एक्सचेंज स्वीट लविंग एक्सचेंज so everyone is looking but in this material world this mundane rasa of seeking uh, trying to enjoy things and trying to enjoy relationships has two problems the first problem is that rasa turns into anti climax very soon same person same situation but that rasa is no more you are trying to squeeze and trying to get little more but it 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 loses its taste after some time initially there is excitement wow somehow i connected with that person now i have a relationship now it's growing wow this person is responding it can be different rasas in different uh you know it can be madhurya <laughs> it can be sakya can be dasya vatsalya but then after some time object is the same relationship is the same but that same thing that was there before is not there and sometimes it turns so sour first you couldn't live without seeing that person now you can't live with the same person <laughs> under the same roof that is the nature of rasa of this world it stops giving it becomes stale <coughs> it becomes tasteless or sometimes it may turn completely reverse anyway so that's one aspect and the second aspect is it comes to an end everything in this world it has to come to an end suddenly that person leaves that suddenly that object leaves or you leave everything is finished so that is the limitation of this mundane rasa so those who are ignorant are trying to still in spite it's just like you are hungry and you get sweet rice and then that sweet rice is somebody uh, actually instead of sugar some has put some grain or sand or something so you trying to take that sweet rice and you know some grinding uh, thing comes in between your teeth so you but it is very tasty and and, and it is satisfying your hunger but it is miserable you don't feel like spitting out and you don't feel like swallowing it or even retasting that's the nature of the kind of bhukti of this world and those who are really disgusted throw out the whole the pot of sweet rice and say nothing doing renounce 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 no rasa nothing in this world it's like that fox and the grapes story the fox went heard about the glory of the grapes jumped and jumped and jumped couldn't get it <laughs> grapes are sour why because i couldn't get it so either bhukti or mukti you want to enjoy 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 knowing fully well that any time it will go away full of anxiety or fear of losing it or fear that it may suddenly turn 
and give me something, the last thing that I wanted. Or out of frustration, trying to enjoy, but knowing that the nature of this slippery nature, everything is going to go away. You said, you say better that I give up everything. So, but the nature of the soul is Satchidananda. The soul is pleasure seeking, rasa, seeking relations, seeking enjoyment, seeking bliss. So Krishna comes to tell us, hey, that's not the place where you should look for. Come, I'll show you where you can get eternal, unlimited love. We want it to be eternal and we want it to be ever increasing and unlimited. But any limited things of this world cannot give eternal and unlimited love. Krishna comes to demonstrate that. There is, there is a place where you can actually get it. But for that, first you have to become Atmaram. Completely convinced that there is no chance of seeking eternal unlimited love in this world and be completely detached. Then you can enjoy real rasa. To the extent we are thinking there is okay one feet here and one feet there also, we may not be able to. Because it is bound to give us disappointment and frustration. So, the Atma Ramata part and the Pararamata part and what is the highest nature of rasa? Parakiya rasa. And what is parakiya rasa? Parakiya rasa means when a man wants to enjoy a property of someone else or in this case a woman of someone, someone else's property. That is parakiya. And that for that parakiya love, there must be that, that desire must be really, really very strong. So a person doesn't care about who thinks what. Becomes fearless. Becomes shameless. The highest kind of, that is, there has to be deep love or infatuation which is a perverted form of love. So the strongest attachment is when a man or a woman have for a paramour. Then it is the strongest attachment. Does not consider what is dharma, dharma. Does not consider what is uh, moral, immoral. There is a natural Anichanna pi varshniya bala diva niyojita. Arjuna asked, why is a person forced to perform activities even though he knows it is not good for me? Athakena prayukto yam papam charati pur. Anichanna pi bala naturally as if some force is pulling me. And what did Krishna say? Kama yesh rajoguna samudbhava. It's actually kama, it's lust born out of the mode of passion. So the lowest, you know, Krishna demonstrates this parakiras in Vrindavan. The opposite of that, Urdhvamula Madhashakam, the perverted reflection of this material world, where there is a natural, spontaneous love in the form of lust here, material love, is an attachment for a man outside of a relationship of sacred marriage. So that's the deepest attachment. Then above that, or in, in one sense below that, is attachment to one's own wife, to pati. Pati means officially married, 
eager to fulfill the desire and satisfy and perform in the sense of duty <coughs> that attachment is quite deep slightly less than that is vatsalya attachment for a child little above that in one sense attachment to someone else's wife is completely selfish little more extended eh? attachment to a wife that's good dharma I'm trying to serve then is attachment to a child then there is attachment to friends little i mean the perverted reflection becoming less and less then attachment to the master the company what you are serving and then is attachment to things objects furniture home shantras <laughs> that is the shantras one can give up one's furniture to take up a particular job one can give up a job for a friend one can give up a friend for a child in this way it can go up it is like a perverted because one is more deeper another one is slightly lesser in comparison and then you come to neutral part what is the neutral atma ram like shukadev goswami completely detached or the four kumaras at that time the material rasa is zero nirvishesh attachment to or 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 nirvisheshvad no attachment from this world at all so in a from negative it's come to neutral state and from neut then starts real devotion brahma bhuta prasanna atma na shochati na kaankshati one who is brahma bhuta state he realizes i am the soul i am not this body anything of this body i am not at all attached prasanna atma he satisfied in himself sachidananda na shochati is no lamentation no hankering समस्त सर्वेशु भूतेशु ही सीज एवरीथिंग अ नेकेड वुमन और ट्रीज और एवरीथिंग फॉर हिम सुखदेव को स्वामी इट वॉज द सेम जस्ट वॉकिंग मद भक्ति लभते पराम देन स्टार्ट द रियल लव देन स्टार्ट रसा दैट्स वाई चैतन्य महाप्रभु स्पोक सो प्रोफ्यूजली ऑन दिस वर्स आत्मा रामश्च मुनयो निर्ग्रंथा अभी उरुक्रमे कुरंती अहैतु की भक्ति इत्थम भूत गुणो हरि Krishna's transcendental name, form, qualities are so relishable. Who can relish only the Atma Ramas, who have nothing to do with this world? Nirgrantha. Grantha means attachment. Nirgrantha, absolutely detached. Even they become attached. Itham bhuta guno Hari, because Lord Hari has transcendental qualities. so from atma rama neutral stage starts positive transcendence then starts slight understanding of the greatness of the lord and an insignificant of the living entity insignificance of the living entity therefore there is chantras you are great my lord i am insignificant you are supreme i am an insignificant part how glory how glorious jai ho jai ho if you shantras they are satisfied in just thinking about the greatness of the lord how wonderful some personal conception is there but then when they understand how such a great master is so much loving so concerned about his parts and parcels then starts mamata from aham it starts mamata janasya mohoyam aham mamete but this moha is good this is yoga maya oh he is my master and i am his servant so that mamata starts my master he is my master unconditionally life after life 
whatever happens i will never leave this master so that is dasyaras your i want to serve you my lord life after life in any condition but then the more one comes to understand the sweetness of the lord the loving reciprocation then even though one knows he is the master still there is intimacy develop, that develops and because of that intimacy there is sakya there are two kinds of sakya one sakya is of the sons of krishna they had one kind of sakya and the servants of krishna had another kind of sakya or uh, friends of krishna so there is a subtle difference there they are also sometimes the parents you know grown up son is very close to the father it's it's not that always looking okay 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 father he is also a very little more friend you know after 16 they become more friends they better become friends <laughs> otherwise there is rebellion so there is more friendship also and sometimes that awe and reverence is kept aside for this kind of intimacy and still later actually prabhupada once said so people think god is great but actually devotee is greater than god how mother yashoda is tying god up this is too much in no other religious conception if you tell yeah there was a lady you know covered lady she tied god you know ah <laughs> tied god yeah there are some friends who climb on the shoulder of god you know, play kabaddi and he loses ha huh? this is too much this conception is demonstrated only in vrindavan the demigods are shocked we offer in yagya with after as maharaj always says tantra yantra mudra puja <laughs> and then krishna comes and accepts and here krishna is snatching and somebody opens their box and say wow this laddu mm, krishna very tasty mm, ele <laughs> and krishna this is too much their remnants they are offering a very difficult for people to understand the difference between vidhi marga or rules and regulations and raga marga raga means spontaneous natural love vidhi marga means rules and regulations you have to take bath after that you have to cleanse yourself cleanse the objects and then you know with lord love and devotion even if there is in that devotion still he is great and i need to do it for my purification krishna you are great i know but i am so full i don't understand this is for you first i should not be enjoying propensity i should not be thinking of eating it after offering bhoga first let me think you enjoy you enjoy i know it's going to taste good but still you know krishna i am not thinking you have to control yourself not to think of the mahaprasad before even bhoga is offered therefore vidhi marga is for us but those who are natural spontaneous love they want to give the best like shabri she want to give the best and therefore naturally they taste everything ye nahi ah this is good the whole conception is not to enjoy but this will be pleasing to krishna krishna should enjoy now we cannot imitate if we imitate it's very dangerous for us rag marga is a, a healthy body and vidhi marga is medicine because we are very sick because we are attached to ourselves <coughs> the whole का आत्मेंद्रिय प्रीति वांछा तारे बोली काम कृष्णेंद्रिय प्रीति इच्छा धरे प्रेम न प्रेम मीन्स ओनली कंसिडरेशन इज प्लेजर ऑफ कृष्ण एंड काम मीन्स ओनली कंसिडरेशन इज व्हाट्स इन इट फॉर मी सो बिकॉज वी आर डिजीज विथ थिंकिंग ऑफ द सेल्फ अलोन 
we are told mm -hmm, mm -hmm, don't think of you first think of Krishna afterwards you enjoy so therefore the Vidhi Marga is like medicine for us because we are really sick as long as we have sickness we should never give up regularly taking medicine therefore every time you should consider what do the Shastra say what does Guru say what does the Sadhu say Guru Sadhu Shastra is the medicine for us Syat Krishna Nama Charitadi Sitapi even though it's very sweet sugar cane juice but pitto patapta rasanasya narochi khano but there is no ruchi right now because we are only thinking of our enjoyment therefore kintu adara anudinam khalu saiva jushtva therefore take the medicine chant 16 round take up come for mangalarti do and this this and this and this but for a person who is completely healthy what is the healthy state natural love for Krishna has awakened in his heart all the rules and regulations externally he may seem to break but that is the essence of all the rules what is the essence of all the rules to please Krishna therefore their only consideration is pleasure of Krishna sometimes they may seem to break the rule But their breaking of rule is actually the real following of rule. Because their rule is, the only one rule is to please Krishna. And the only prohibition is, don't do anything that is displeasing to Krishna. So more health comes, the more medicine can go down. Because there is a natural love. They will never do anything that is displeasing to Krishna. So that is a Sakya, more intimacy. Then comes Vatsalya. Vatsalya means the only consideration of Mother Yashoda is what will please Krishna. She is ready to die million times to relieve Krishna from one you know, perspiration drop. She is doing everything. Only consideration is pleasure of Krishna. That is Vatsalya. And higher than Vatsalya is actually Madhurya. If within Madhurya, everything else is contained. It's just like 5 liter bottle and 1 liter. Within 5 liter is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 liters. So Madhurya Ras is like 5 liters. Within that is the Vatsalya of 4 liters. Is the Sakya of 3 liters. Is the Dasya of two liters and shanta of one liter also because those devotees in Madhurya know Krishna is the supreme and I am insignificant they always know this. They are, they are never in under illusion they are the best servitors generally a wife is the best knows to, how to please the husband fully Sometimes she is, she knows he's great, maybe in his office as a CEO. She knows, may not be at home, he can't throw around his weight. But still, she knows he's a big man. I'm very fortunate to serve. She's also the best servant. Please, I saw my mother very nicely as soon as she came from office, helping out. Okay, okay. So, how was it? Everything is all right. Here is some food, here is this. She served him. <coughs> and also the best friend, sometimes guiding, sometimes even, you know, um, giving an opinion. I think you shouldn't be doing this. You seem to be disturbed. Oh, really? Oh, he's told like that? I don't think that was right on your part to have said that. Anyway, you decide what you want to do. So they would always, father would always consult before taking some major decision. She was a best friend in that sense. And sometimes she would be the mother of my father. <laughs> this is too much. What is this? Why have you got wet today? Carry this umbrella with you. No, you can't go like that. How did you jump like this? One time he, from a big springboard, you know, 50 feet, he jumped into the water. And then he disappeared. <laughs> and she was crying. Because he was a very good underwater swimmer he, and came behind a rock 
and he was waiting there for five minutes and she is in anxiety. <laughs> then she chastised him like anything after he came up. So it's like, I thought she's only my mother, she's my father's mother also. <laughs> You really chastise him sometimes, you know. Out of love, out of concern. Don't eat so much. Tomorrow you'll fall sick. Don't eat this, this is okay for you. And of course, she gave him the pleasure of a wife. Seven children she gave. So this is... So the, the Madhurya Ras is considered Srimati Radharani, perfect servant of Krishna, perfect friend, sometimes chastising. And then, higher than that is a relationship of a Upapati. Pati means officially who is married. Upapati means um, somebody else's, as, as a paramour. Now, this conception can only be justified in the when the Nayaka, Nayaka is a hero and Nayika is heroine. When the Nayika is someone else's property, then there is adventure and risk involved in trying to meet and enjoy. And that adds all the excitement in Braj Leela. The whole thing is how to unite Radha and Krishna. Purnamasi is doing and even Jatila and Kutila who are trying to are creating excitement by trying to separate them. Therefore the excitement is more when they meet. Only in the case of the Supreme Nayaka when the Nayaka is Krishna can this Parakiyaras be justified. Why? Because act Actually, Krishna is the only enjoyer. In fact, anyone who thinks this is my wife or this is mine is in illusion. Krishna is the only pati. Krishna is the only enjoyer. Bhoktaram Yagyatapasam. Everyone is his part and parcel. Anyone else trying to play the position of Krishna and trying to enjoy Parakya is despicable, abominable and obnoxious. But in Vrindavan, everyone knows Vrindavaneshwari, Srimati Radharani. In fact, everyone is simply playing their role under Yoga Maya to increase the excitement of Braj pastimes. It is so sweet, unimaginable even in Vaikuntha. That is the nature of Braj. Therefore, even Lakshmi ji cannot find entry. You can't enter Vrindavan unless you become Gopi Bhartur Padra. Tanam Arupa Charitavi Sukhi Tanam Smrityu Kramena Sana If you want to enter Braj, you have to become the servant of the servant of the servant of the gopis. You cannot enter. Krishna, I have come. Me and Put everyone else off for today. No, <laughs> Forget it. How do you know how to please Krishna? Only one person knows how to completely satisfy Krishna. Understanding is more. Exactly what to please Krishna. That is Srimati Radharani. And exactly how to please Radharani, only Radhita and Vishakha. And Master Sakis. And how to please the Sakis? Exactly give them what they want when they want. The Manjiri That is Rupa Manjiri, Buddha Manjiri, Dhabanda Manjiri, Sanatana, Rupa Swami, Jiva Goswami. I am blessed in following the footsteps of the Goswamis. We can never enter Vrindavan. Rupa Raghu Natha Pade Hoi De Aputi Kabe Nama Pujha Kosi Jiva Dhabiti. It's only possible when we become this. That's why Lakshmi Ji could not get an entry. Mahaprabhu teased Venkata Bhatta when he was in Sri Lanka. Oh, your Lakshmi is the most chaste lady. Why she wants to associate at mine? She is the wife of the goddess, and goddess of fortune, and she is the wife of 
supreme lord vishnu narayan and my lord is only gopa why she wants to associate with my lord so krishna said come on what's wrong in it the same krishna and narayan narayan is krishna and of course krishna's pastimes are very charming therefore what's wrong if she wants to participate There is nothing wrong, Mahabhu said. But why didn't she get angry? <laughs> she is still performing the same thing. Why didn't she get angry? Then the brother said, "I am a fallen soul, and I am a conditioned soul, and I am not very sensitive." You please tell. I don't understand all this. She was not ready to give up her position as the goddess of fortune. Mm -hmm. She was not ready to be the menial servant of being the servant of the servant of the servant of God, picking up the water pot and doing some kind of thing. She was not ready to do that. In Aishwarya Bhav, that's very transcendent. We can't enter because we have we can't give up our designation. Upa. What servant of the servant of the servant? No, servant of the servant of. I don't know some some people. No, we don't. I mean, such for me. Who is that one? That one? That one? Servant? Who? What kind of what do you understand? The Lord better be servant. That's our problem. So this he comes to manifest. That is why even Brahma is bewildered. What is this? This is my worship of the Lord. I can't believe it. This happened only for a fraction of a second. His fraction of a second is a big time for us. We just got seconds up. That's all. <laughs> It's just like that. And that was one year for us. And within that, Krishna performed so much. Amazing performer of past times, Krishna. Even Brahma is bewildered. This past time, that Krishna has come to demonstrate and speak about, and Mahaprabhu has come to share. Mahaprabhu has come to share this. Why does Krishna do this? Only one reason. Why does Krishna come to demonstrate this? Only for one reason, because Krishna is an unlimited enjoyer, and he wants to enjoy. There are unlimited devotees in the spiritual world, but because he is unlimited and he is ever expanding, he wants to expand the number of his devotees. He wants to expand the number of his devotees in the spiritual world, so that he wants to reciprocate, and he wants to invite. More and more rebellious condition souls. Come up! Don't think there is no vacancy board there. Go! Oh. There is vacancy for everyone. Come oh. up! Join my dancing party. But we are busy having our own dance party. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, to pull people out from their foolish ignorance. You know, illusory kind of conceptions. The Lord personally comes, or sometimes His pure devotees come, and they come only for one purpose: to somehow drag people out of compassion, connect them to Krishna's spark, make more pure devotees, and increase the number for Krishna's pleasure. That is the only reason why, when Krishna comes, first thing he came to enjoy, wanted to know what Shrimati Radharani is enjoying, how much she is enjoying. But suddenly, he gave her compassion. He wanted to share it. He wanted to give people. But he saw that they are stubborn. They are reluctant to accept it. Why? Because they thought you are also like me. I am also like you. You are also older. I am also older. Oh really? How will they respect me? 
how will they listen to my message? To increase that receptivity, he had to show that he had no attachment whatsoever. Therefore, in that 11th anniversary of Bhagavatam, glorification of Karabhajan and Shiva, the Yugavata, Jaitan Mahabhu, Kaliuga, this particular verse is used. Tyatva Sudhutya Jasuri Chitala Jalakshmi Dharmishtha Adi Vachasa Yalaga Adaranyam Maya Mridam Daitari Chitaman Madhavar Vande Maha Purushati Charanamitam This beautiful verse tells what will be the activity of Mahaprabhu. Tyatva, he will give up. What will he give up? Rajya Lakshmi, the greatest opulence. Krishna leaves the opulence of spiritual world to come to attack all of us. That is his renunciation. He takes sannyas from the spiritual world or something to come here. Similarly, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. Chaitanya So Dustya Chaitanya means to give up. Dustya Chaitanya means difficult to give up. So Dustya Chaitanya means really difficult to give up. And what kind of Raja Lakshmi, what kind of opulence? Sura Ipsita. Even demigods want that opulence. Even demigods are hankering. But that kind of opulence effortlessly this incarnation will give up. Dharmishtha. Why? Because he wants to pursue the path of ultimate dharma. Arya Vachasa. On the word of a Brahmana, the Brahmana cursed him. You're not allowing me into that Shiva Thakur space where you have that kirtan at night. I curse you. You will lose all the material life. You will not be enjoying, you will be enjoying the material life. So, Mahaprabhu is very happy. Yadala Aranya. He left and he went into. Why? Maya Mrigam. Those people who are caught up in pursuing after running after Maya. Daitaya, out of great compassion, and Ipsita. Ipsita means to achieve the highest, relish the highest perfection. Ipsita, Anvadhav. He started running after the conditioned souls, out of compassion and also out of relishing love of God. When Mahabharata took sannyas, he ran into Vrindavan. Nobody could stop him. He was mad, like a mad man running to Vrindavan. Only the demigods have to stop, stop, stop. My Lord, if you go there, what about the condition so? Which is why you have taken sannyas. Ah, okay, okay. I come somewhere. So, Daitaya and Ipsi, the Tandakara. One day, Mahabharata this particular verse applies to Lord Krishna, applies to Ram, and applies to Mahabharata. This is like a purport of the Shadhuj form of Chaitanya Mahabharata. Two hands of Ram. If you take Ram Chandra's picture, Kyapva Sudhus Teja Sudhetsita Rajya Lakshmi, he gave up in one moment all the opulence of Ayodhya, Dharmishtha, because he was on the path of Dharma, Ani Vachasa. On the word of his father Dashrat, who had promised, who had given a word, Yadara Aranyam, which Aranyam? Dandaka Mayam Rigam. And there he ran after the Mayam Rigam, Maricha. Ichita. Ichita means desired by Sita. Anmudhav, he ran behind that brother. One day Mahabhusha Vichanara. We perform this just to attract our hearts. If you apply it to Krishna, Tyatva Sudhusya Sudhetsika Rajya Lakshmi. He left Mokshara. Dharmishtha. Because he wanted to extend the highest dharma. Arya Vachasa. Here Arya Vachasa means on the request of his parents, they will take us away. Please, don't stay here. Answer with me. Yadaka Adaranyam and Vicharanyam Dandaranyam. And 
there, what did he do? Maya Mrigam. Maya means Shrimati Radha and Pro Maya. He became a dancing doll in the hands of the gopis. And the gopas here we see Krishna, go and get our cows and jump. Okay, we use it, I'll go and get it. The Anvad Havat, who is running behind whatever they have told, to fulfill their desires. Ponde Mahapurusha Dijanana. And this applies to Lord Chaitanya, basically. Kerpla Sudhutti, the Suvet Chita Raja Lakshmi. He left his most intimate, loving mother. Who can love more than Shashi Devi? She was ready to die a million times for Mahaprabhu's, for Nimai's pleasure. And then he broke everything. <laughs> broke everything in the house, everything, and started breaking the wall, and getting the doors and windows, went out and beat the trees in the compound, and he went to see. He just asked for, give me Chandra and give me a star. I want to worship Ganga. He says, all right. Let me make some gun and let me make the garden. No, 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 right now. And I started beating everything in the house. And he went to bed. Everything finished. He destroyed everything. Everything which was perfectly good about Ganga. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he never touched the world. Because he wanted to establish the Yagat Yuga Dharma Arya Vachasa on the word of this Brahmana externally to keep up the word of the Brahmana Yadagada Ranyam and there Maya Amrigam Daitaya Daitaya out of great compassion Anvadhavat and to relish the high why Mahaprabhu took sannyas basically for two reasons to become more accessible to people and unless you command the respect of people you can't influence their heart if if people have no faith and confidence and respect towards the person who is actually giving them that knowledge you can't actually affect their lives or heart therefore it is important on as a preacher to 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 have that standard where people can actually respect that is the reason why ramchandra khan wanted to spoil the name of <coughs> haridas thakur because once people you know through to this propaganda people um, can't respect when they doubt that this person's character then you can't affect that this people's heart and therefore so much propaganda was done to bring down his position in the eyes of the people so Mahaprabhu was not respected because he said you are also a householder and you are chanting gopi 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 
where in the shastra does it say gopi because he was actually showing how even lord krishna is chanting the name of the gopi in dwarka so then he understood oh i wanted to give them medicine but it is having a reverse effect people won't respect me because they see me as one of them one of them therefore i should take sanyas then they will respect me and really at that time sanyas was really considered and unfortunately at that time the mayavad sanyasi sanyas meant mayavad sanyasi therefore even uh, took that only for this purpose to become more accessible to people to reach out to more number of people and he, he had to forego all obligations so that he can be focused on what he wanted to do that's the only reason why he did that daitaya ipsita manvadhav today is shila prabhupad's uh, uh, anniversary of acceptance of sanyas today was the day at keshav gaudiya mart in mathura abhay babu abhay charan arvind decided to accept sanyas as abhay uh, ac bhakti vedant swami prabhupad actually i was thinking this verse applies to prabhupad also tyaktva sudushya ja surepsita rajya lakshmi what did he give up <clears throat> he gave up vrindavan he gave up residence at radha damodar all the world who have understanding of vedic and they their ultimate goal of life is to go to vrindavan to stay at the lotus feet of rupa and sanatan at radha damodar who would like to give up that uh, situation tyaktva sudushya ja suraipsit even lord brahma lord shiva want to come to vrindavan narada wants to come there as naradi gopi brahma brahma chal khelat sukumari nandeshwar khelat giridhari brahma became the his four heads became the four at barsana there are two four philaks are nothing but lord brahmas taking the dust of the feet of the brajvasis shiva became nandeshwar wanting the charanamrit sutyakta surepsita rajya lakshmi at the age of very ripe age he just gave up that why dharmishtha because he knew what was the actually goal he was he was a perfect follower of dharma arya vachasa here arya vachasa means the calls of his spiritual master bhakti siddhanta sarthi thakur so many times prabhupad said my spiritual master would come in my dream he would appear and he would just indicate to me and say follow me follow me prabhupad in one particular lecture says it was very horrible it was very i was horrified at the thought i would take sanyas because he actually understood what it means to take sanyas and through his god brother kesho maharaj was pushing him yes yes bhakti vedant bhakti uh, abhay babu i think you should take you should take and on this is the day he took sanyas and very interesting very few people were there in the mat nobody was special invitation nothing like that two people were to take sanyas uh, abhay babu and there was one old man sanatan who was 90 year old brahmachari so both of them were taking sanyas so after the mantras were read out for sanyas very surprisingly keshav maharaj who was like the sanyas guru asked prabhupad to speak and except keshav maharaj and probably one or two nobody in the audience few who had gathered they were all hindi speakers prabhupad gave a lecture in english because he had been ordered by his guru twice one just before leaving and one first time at he met he said you are an intelligent man 
take up the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and spread it in the English language all over the world. So, that was his sole motive for taking sannyas. Arya Vachasa. He, he was very clear why he wanted to do it. What was his mood? Just to pr print books at Radha Kund, he was given instruction. Sell the marvels of the temple if you want, but print books and distribute. Give this message <coughs> all over the world. <coughs> One time Bhakti Siddhanta Sri Thakur said, How unfortunate that Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu is hidden within the, within the continent of India. That's the ultimate understanding. Just like Bhagavatam is non-different from Krishna, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu is non-different from Srimati Radharani. So this is what Srila Prabhupada took sannyas for. To share this knowledge, invite everyone, giving them a facility, an opportunity to become pure devotees. Come back to the spiritual world. This is the reason why Krishna comes. This is why Lord Chaitanya came. And in the same mood, Srila Prabhupada also. Now without any other obligation, he could now exclusively focus his attention. Yadagad Aranyam. Which Aranyam? Here Aranyam means the concrete jungle of New York City in the ghettos. <laughs> Yadagad Aranyam. And why? Maya Murgam. All those people were completely bewildered by Maya. He went to the capital city of Maya. Daitaya, out of great compassion. Ipsitam, just to fulfill the order of his Guru and Mahaprabhu. Anvadhavat. He really went with full speed. Initially, he began with cargo ship. But after that, he saw that this is jet age. Cargo ship will not do. <laughs> then he traveled 14 times. The whole planet. He was a really jet age Swami. A Jagat Guru. Really Jagat Guru. Not sitting in his village and Jagat Guru. <laughs> title really a Jagat Guru traveling all over this Jagat <coughs> so Anvadhavat Vande Mahapurushate Charanaravindam so and because he took sannyas we are all here today actually because he took sannyas Nama O Vishnu Padaya taking shelter of the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu he distributed it because of that sacrifice, inconveniences, all the poverty, all the inconvenience he had to face, heart attacks and misunderstandings and untrained people and whatever. <coughs> but he just went on amazing determination. And that's how we are able to just because he wanted. Ultimately, his guru's thought was this, that if, if foreigners take it, then Indians will take it. This is like a strategic plan. Wonderful strategic plan of Bhakti Siddhanta Sarji Because people are so much ruled by the foreigners for such a long time. They have lost respect for anything Indian. Whatever has to come, it has to come in an imported package. <laughs> Not thing homemade will be accepted. So he got imported devotees. <laughs> the dancing white elephants, Prabhupada called them. Jayadvaita Swami Maharaj one time very nicely explained. Elephants are so rare. Right? In the city, if elephants come, hey, Hati, most the children come to the window. Oh, hati, 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 aya, hati, aya. But old people say, Aare, aane dekha hai, zoo mein dekha hai. We have seen it in zoo, we have seen it in so many processions. But if a white elephant were to come, I think the older people will say, Acha, white elephant? Let me see, Baba. At least, you know, before dying, at least I should say, <laughs> I saw the white elephant also. 
सो सम ओल्ड पीपल विल कम एंड एक बार चलो खिड़की से झाक के देख लेते ओ हो वाइट एलिफेंट आई सॉ इट बट कैन यू इमेजिन इफ नॉट जस्ट ए वाइट एलिफेंट बट वी टू फीट इफ इट्स डांसिंग Even an old man on his deathbed will say, "Before dying, I should see this dancing white elephant, rarest of all rare sights, never seen ever." Similarly, Vaishnavas are so rare, Tilak Dhari, very difficult to see one in Mumbai. Is so much? Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Huh? very rare you feel so happy to see very rare as elephants are rare vaishnavas are so rare in that white vaishnavas nowadays thanks to prabhupad it's a common sight for us but first time this is was really rare people came more than to see prabhupad they actually came to see these white elephants really yeah we want to see then after act actually seeing the white elephant then they said who is this guy who has this magical wand that he touches them and they start dancing we want to hear this person it is said when haridas thakur changed the life of this prostitute people came from all direction to see the prostitute otherwise also people were coming but different people were coming for different reason <laughs> now holy men came to see this prostitute and while they saw the prostitute it was not that they were glorifying the prostitute they were glorifying haridas in their mind who is the who is this person haridas what is his potency what is his power to transform this lowly sinful prostitute into a great vaishnavi it was actually the glory of haridas that was the glory of prabhupad that he went into the wild jungle of new york and with his magical wand of faith in guru and krishna and the holy name just touched hare krishna <laughs> this dancing white elephants and he imported them sikhao hamare logon ko they take it for granted so that's the Uh, glory of this event that one sacrifice was responsible for all the wonderful manifestation so many wonderful devotees vaishnavas all over the world not just white elephants all color black and white and pink and yellow and brown of course lot of them here <laughs> that is shila prabhupad's mercy Anyway, it's time. So, are there any questions or comments? We can take a couple of them. All right, Shri Prabhu Bhad ki, Shri Shri Radha Gopinath Bhagwan ki. निताय गो प्रेमानंदी थैंक यू वेरी मच